continues right after this. Gus Hansen and Chip Reese are leaders with Howard Lederer, who began the tournament as the leader, slipping into fourth place, just a few chips in front of Johnny Chan and Phil Ivey. So the ante at 2,000 and blinds go up to 6 and 12,000 here. TJ Cloutier mucks his hand quickly. Gus Hansen has another bullet in the hole here, and he's going to play his ace queen. Yeah, Gus not only plays garbage, but he also plays good hands, too, and he's gone on an incredible run of catching those. Gus raises to 41,000, so now to Howard Lederer. With ace nine. Howard, much like Gus, is a very deep thinker. He's a very analytical player, very deliberate. He's going to take his time. If I'm Howard, I'm going to take a shot. I'm probably going to raise Gus and try to take this pot away right now. That's the effect that Gus Hansen has had in this tournament. Nobody really knows what he's playing with. Yeah, Gus has really made everybody think about what he's doing and what they need to do to fight that. Of course, if Howard does 